<clears throat> Welcome to Linguistic Lips. It's a conversation about relationships and everything in between. I am your host, Indian Girl, aka Native, aka Boss Lady, aka Entrepreneur, aka whatever you want to call me. And this is to my right, I have Raquel, aka Raquel. <laughs> Our education. Yeah. And, and I am Haroni, aka Haroni. <laughs> Um, I am, um, I hope, I have an Etsy store and I am happily married. And we have Santina, aka Tina. Play with it. I do you do. Um, I'm a manager. And we have, coming straight out of the West Coast. I am Jaquita, aka Red Star, aka Power to the People. <laughs> Uh, and uh, I'm a, uh, well, my career has been banking, but I'm slowly transitioning from that. What's your relationship status? I only heard one relationship status. Oh, I'm happily single. All right. And you, Raquel? Separated. And you? I'm in a relationship. And I'm just, it's just complicated. Damn. I don't even know what to say right now. It's just a little, <laughs> a little complicated. I don't know where I'm going to come and I'm just too busy to even talk about it. <laughs> So um, we like to, um, on this Linguistic Lips, we like to talk about all things that matter to us as women of color, which we're going to get into how Aroni didn't know she was a woman of color, but that's fine, <laughs> that's fine. We'll get into that later. But um, So we want to we want to talk about subject matters that matter to us and kind of bring you guys into the conversation um, and just hear our perspective on things. So this week's conversation is about submission. Submission. I should have had the definition ready, but I didn't. I should have known. What is submission? Um, here it says, to be submissive is to obey or yield to someone else. When you are submissive, you submit to someone else's will, which literally you put your own desire lower than theirs. You can see this in the Latin root of submit, submitir, which is formed by sub, under, and mitir, send, put. So, um, I think this came up, um, who was it talking about it? We were talking about it. Well, we talk about it all the time. Uh -huh. so, um, my view on it, um, I just want to go ahead and get started with it. Um, me and Red Star, we've had this conversation, I'm sure, more than once, because we kind of had a different view on um, submission. Um, since I've been married uh, twice, <laughs> um, I think submission is very important in a marriage. Um, from what my standpoint is that when you you're not doing it, it should never feel like a chore or a job. You know, when you love someone, you want to submit, and it's a a partnership in that where he's submitting as well, you're submitting as well. What that looks like is whatever it is in your relationship. If that means you're gonna come home and cook him dinner, and make sure his laundry's done, and say. Daddy, come get this, whatever, whenever you want it. That's your way of submitting. That's fine. But, you know, it's, it's just something. I think it's more of a conversation between you and your significant other, what that means in your relationship. Um, and as I, I was talking to Jaquita, like, men submit too. That's why they came up with the honey-do list. And that's why you hear men say, yes, dear, because that's him submitting to his wife. So I really think that um, the word submission... Uh, mostly in the amongst black women um is seen as a negative like um like they're giving up some type of control or giving up some part of themselves for a man and why should they do that for a man what do you guys think no for me i don't like the word submission um a man should leave the household i do not mind allowing you to lead us but i don't want to walk behind you i want to walk beside you because at this point you're saying submit i'm thinking of as in a more of an archaic term nowadays you want women to cook clean have sex with you but then you want me to go out and earn just as much or more money than you and pay half of the bills but then i'm the one who has the the cooking the cleaning tending mm -hmm. to the kids and you're sitting here relaxing so if you want me to submit if we're going to use that word submit then let's go back to when women did not have to work when women only had to do was tend to the kids make sure your needs are taken care of that i can be whatever you want me to be i'll do whatever you want me to do but don't ask me to pay half of the bills 
But then submit to you and you 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 just do what you want to do. Well, that's why I said it has to be a, a understanding and it, it should never feel like a chore. Um, and what your submission is. What do you think? Um, in my opinion, submission is all in the person. Mm. Am I willing to submit to this person? It depends on the person. What are they coming with? What um, what are what are they bringing to the table? What am I bringing to the table? Are we equally yoked? Mm -hmm. um, I'm not gonna just submit to anyone, but I'm willing to submit to the right person. Mm -hmm. So with me, it's not. Um, I'm willing to submit, but it has to be the right person to submit to. So that's my opinion. What about you? Power to the people. I think I agree with uh, Raquel, and it's just the word that I have an issue with. Um, words are powerful, you know, that's why they tell you to speak life over your family, your children, yourself. So certain words mean a certain thing. So for me, I do have an issue with the word submission. And I just texted you guys um, this article that I sent um, Indian Girl earlier this week. Um, and I'll just read a quick ex excerpt from there. Um, when there is radical trust, free will, and room for self-actualization, it can feel good to surrender, but that's not submission. That's partnership. That's call and response. That's the dance that people do when they love in a way that doesn't diminish but create space for our highest selves to exist. I couldn't have said it. I was, when I saw the article, I was so excited. I said to her, I was like, oh my God, this is it. Because and I understand the whole biblical um, reference and supporting for it, support for it. But there are going to be times when we lead as women as well. You know what I'm saying? Your man isn't, or the man isn't just going to lead the household all of the time. We have input and we have things to give and bring to the table. I'm not saying that submission diminishes that, but it was created from a place that doesn't respect that, mm -hmm. I feel like. That's it. All right, the resident married woman, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was coming down to that. Um, I, I think a woman, you may feel like you have to submit all the time, and it's not like that. I think if you have, an, a, a, if you have a communication with your partner and you have an understanding with your partner, it doesn't have to be something that you always have to do. Does mm -hmm. that even make sense? Like, you know, like my husband and I are both Libras, which is awful because we are both extremely alike. So, you know, it's like we almost think alike and, and it's almost like I'm right, he's right. Nobody wants to kind of, you know, bring it down. And it comes to a point where we just get tired of that and we're just like, all right, I guess we're going to have to accept what each other think of whatever it is that the problem is. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it all comes down to communication. And, and it, it does sound like a yucky word. It yeah. almost sounds like, like it's a harsh word, like... Submission. It's almost like you have to do but this. And where's the red room? Where's the red room? Yeah. Where's the you, don't red do you can almost use it though in a sexy way, I feel yeah. like. Yeah. It's almost like every so often it's like, yeah, like take control. Like yeah. what do you what do you want me to do? How do you want me to do it? Like point in it, because I was saying on the on the other end, in my life where I'm constantly having to tell people what to do, having to do this, having to do that, and be in control and be in charge, I do sometimes just want to come in and my husband say hey tell me what to do and mm -hmm. say hey this is what i want from you and i and it, it is a submissive I, i've never used the term submissive i was like hey, well, you know i am kind of like that and people find it hard to believe it's like this is my man i want him to be happy i want him to have everything i want to see him smile i want him to be comfortable and it is what does he bring to the table though you know what is, is he is he doing this but it's like i want to step out of the role of boss and, and step into the role of submissive. Like even in the bedroom, you tell me what to do. You know, you tell me, take control, take charge. That's that's what area I'm like, yes, I will submit. I will submit to whatever you want. What, what do you want to do? But what you about know, those men who reason. aren't ready for that? There's some men who don't understand what that term means. Like she they're, said, like they're she out said. here hollering, you need to submit, you need to submit. 
for find what, somebody who are, else. But who are you submitting to? What yeah. are you submitting to? You want me to submit to you, but what are you gonna give me in return? I will cook, I will clean, you know, I will Susie Homemaker, mm -hmm. I will do it all. However, at some point, I feel as though you took advantage of that. Yeah. It's like you knew she's gonna have this food cooked. You knew foods cooked your plates on the table. You gonna do this. So at this point, you like, whatever. But I don't know. Back to equal, equally yoked, like she but said. But my thing but is, is why not have that man that you want to submit to? Yeah. That you want to. Whatever he asked of you, you want to do it. Or before he even asked of you, you want to do it because you know that's what he wants. You know what I'm saying? When you find someone like that in mission, it's like a, at a first love. It felt good. It felt, it's, at first, you, I felt good about it. Yeah. You know, I, I wanted to do this. And that was also my love language. I, my love language is service. So me cooking, me cleaning, me washing, me making sure you don't worry about anything because you're out here, you're grinding and taking care of the family. But then but that it started going stuff. back to you, you. Wait a minute, hold on. Like I'm supposed to. No, no, no. So let me stop. Let me let me pull back a little bit. And now you don't know how to be a wife, or you don't know how to submit, or you don't. No, you don't appreciate it. Yeah. Because you have to. You have to give me something. To make me feel like this is, I'm, I, I want this man happy. I want him to not worry about when he, what's going on outside. When he comes home, that's his sanctuary. Yeah. And I will submit to making yeah. your home a sanctuary. However, where's my peace? Kita. So are we linking gender roles to submission? I don't think I'm so. I'm not oh, linking the gender role to it. I feel like you have to submit to each other. I mean, what do you feel do you, like doing? Yeah, what, yeah. what do you yeah. feel like? No, not what do you feel like doing. I mean, does this person you, make you happy enough to want? You to cannot do know this? how to cook. I, you know, my exactly. first marriage, I, I know how to cook though. Let me take that. I know how to cook, but in my first marriage, he cooked more than I did. And so, what'd you say? And better. <laughs> yeah. Love you. Yeah, I mean, I'll eat what I want to cook, and then when, whatever I want to cook is good. So don't tell me to cook something that I'm not. I, it's not in my my forte. But yeah, so in my first marriage, yes, he liked to cook. So that was his thing. He he would cook. It wouldn't be a big deal for me to say, "Are you cooking tonight?" And that was his love language to cook. You know, and and it's like you, you it, there is no gender role, but you are taking out that trash. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. That's one thing. Like I'm not taking out the trash. I don't want to pump my gas. I don't. Want, you know, certain things. I'm like, I I feel like it should be uh, a protection um, for yeah. your, your your significant other, a protection and those things. Not really gender roles. So yeah, I just I just wanted to like clarify because people who listen. They get confused and they think women submitting is cleaning up the kitchen, doing this, doing that. And that's 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 a gender role. That has nothing to do with submitting because if I'm tired, you can come in and cook and clean as well. Well, so some of my submission, some some of my submission and some of her submission, I already know it's because of OCD. I'm gonna take it's, care of it because you gonna mess it up. So I'm yeah, gonna go ahead and take control. care of it. Like, I'm going I'm go, I got it. It's okay. I got yeah, it. I got right. it. I'll, I'll take it. care of it. And but sometimes you just you want to be like you know what. Hey, you, you, we have a conversation, but at the end of the day, you make the final decision. This is my input. This is how I feel about it. But at the end of the day, I trust you enough with my heart, my mind, my spirit. You're going to make the best decision for us, not for yourself. Mm -hmm. See, I ain't met nobody like that. I was going to say that's a hard one. That could yeah. be a hard one because at the end of the day, whether it's a female or a male, who knows, yeah. are very self-centered and it's all about what they want, what they need, what they have to have. And that's well, where you have to be like, ah, oh, hold on. But you have to put a stop to that. That's what I said. You have to put a stop to that from the get-go. Yeah, well, you, I, I like to lead by example, you know, and sometimes that fails us as women because when I do certain things, like in hoping the person does them in return because this is my love language this is how i want to be treated i'm treating you how i want to be treated and then it's like oh that's just how she is no i want you to do it in return and that's when she's saying when you have to pull back and say okay i'm being taken advantage of okay i'm not being appreciated and it then again it goes back to a partnership an understanding and in everything that we ever do communication is most important at so, any given time yeah. i will say that right now because don't hold it in. Can I, I was going to say, can I ask a question? We've been in a situation where you are, you know, in your moment and something's not feeling right. 
Like, do you say something? Like, have you guys said I'm something I, to I, your partner? I, I, just say, I, I don't like it. I, da, 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 da. I think because I'm older now, I don't have time for it. So you, you damn right. I'm going to say something quicker now. Like when I, I and day like it. And day. Oh, that might that might have been a one off. And then it's like, mm, no, they did it again. You know what? I'm, I gotta say something yeah. because if I don't say something, we're gonna be fighting. You know, let me say something. Nip so, it in the bud the first yeah. time so you don't have to worry about but it the second time. Me, times. I'm trying to be all nice and kind and not hurt feelings, so I just let a lot of stuff slide. You just blow and they're like, where did that come from? So it's really not fair to the other person. So I really feel like when you feel something, you should say something. Um, and to try to not to do any anger take a good approach to it you know i try to let's have a talk you know men hate to hear that <laughs> we I need think, to talk yeah but i think they're like oh, also man. it's about knowing who you are in learning yourself and being comfortable with yourself to know what your limits are and what your triggers are mm -hmm. because if you don't know what your triggers mm -hmm. are and then when it, it comes up and you be like wait a minute i'm going from zero to a thousand oh I didn't tell you this bothers me or I didn't tell you I don't like this. So sometimes if you if you put it out there and I'm letting you know X, Y and Z about me, but it's also about letting your guard down enough to let the person know this is who I am. These this is where my insecurities are as well. So if I'm my insecurities don't play off of them, because if you play off my insecurities, we're not going to. I don't mm -hmm. like you. I'm not going to deal with you. I see you. So I'm going to treat you a different type of way. So it's also about when you submit to some part, yeah. somebody, you're letting all those guards down mm -hmm. and you're letting them fully in. And sometimes some people are like, oh, I submit. I'm saying, I'm submitted. I submit to my husband, but your husband don't know that you don't like when he go out with his friends every Friday night. Mm -hmm. So are you, or your husband don't know why you, you text him every five minutes while he gone or your boyfriend is because you don't trust him. So you got to understand, you have, if you're going to say I'm submitting, but you're not fully yeah. com communicating what you really want and what they really need to give you, then you, it's really like, it's a, it's all a facade. It's not what you want it to be. It's not what it's supposed to be because you're not fully letting all those guards down. And I feel as though you're not really the full, you're fully let all the guards down. Don't even explore that word. Don't yeah. explore that deafness of a relationship. So, so speaking of submission and time frames, like is submission marriage only? Or you know, like in the relate like because you know we, we get this thing where you know you you get you 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 getting you get wifey duties like no why why you I'm not married to you you're not my husband I don't have to do X Y Z for you I don't have to prove myself to you so is that submission something where it should be held to marriage or you know is a serious relationship what do you guys feel about that well I think we have this conversation every day is do you have to be married. You can find your soulmate, and y'all don't have to be married. Well, I'm not submitting. Well, that's another week's conversation. So <laughs> for me, being separated and looking at the whole dynamic of everything to me is marriage is wonderful. Marriage is beautiful. Love is a, is a wonderful thing. However, sometimes that word, that title, those titles that we put on each other, it sometimes skew everything it sometimes you automatically get this unnecessary pressure on yourself so if you just naturally go with what's going on and you guys are feeling each other and your energy is there y'all souls are there everything else will organically come into place so we're talking about serious commitments do we submit so, I'm saying, <laughs> so it's not the dude that you met you know a couple of weeks ago I'm like yeah I'm gonna cook clean do that no it's just something you are in sync you are you guys mirror right. each other when you're together but when you're apart your actions and your energy and the way you move you still mirroring each other and you're not in each other's presence red star look like you got something to say mm -hmm. No, no, no. I, I, no, I, I, <laughs> I'm trying to get it together. So I was thinking about marriage the other day, right? And I was thinking in marriage going in reverse from divorce, right? So, you know, the Bible only gives us a certain, a certain amount of reasons of why we can divorce, right? Bibl in biblical terms, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. So 
technically, if you get divorced for anything other than those reasons, you're still married, right? The Bible views you as married. So when we think of marriage and then the word submission and all these things, um, I was trying to get it together. Uh, when we get married, we get married with the state, right? But we also get married under God. So to what Raquel was saying, I don't think it's actually changing my view. I don't think that you have to, because if it's under God, it doesn't have to be like a state, a wedding thing, right? So that's what she's saying. You can be together with somebody and be with them and commit to them and commit under God without it having to be under I mean the government or a piece of paper, right? And the only reason I came to that conclusion is because I went the other way, right? If you get married under God, the state, don't matter what you get, a little piece of paper that say you divorced, technically you still married, right? Okay, now, so in terms of submission with somebody that you're just dating, I think in the early stages, it is just compromise right? You just compromise. You compromise in all your relationships with your friendships, with your girlfriends, with your kids. That's just standard relationship practice, right? Somebody respects you, you respect them. That's it. But as far as I, I wouldn't submit or since that's the term we're using to somebody that I wasn't. Don't go with another term. What's the word? We gonna, by the end of this, we're going to come up with another word. Go ahead. <laughs> um, submit to somebody because I saw um, Santina she was like, yeah, no, I ain't submitting to somebody that, you know, I'm not married to. And I can see that too. And I totally agree with that, that thought process, if that's what you meant, Santina, because as women, we oftentimes are constantly auditioning, constantly putting ourselves, opening up our lives, our bodies, our homes, all kinds of stuff to people that are just going to be in and out. And we have to draw the line somewhere as Raquel was saying, you have to know who you are, know your principles, your morals, what you want. So when people try to give you less than that, you ain't going for that. So same thing, dude, we can compromise. Yeah, you want to eat here, we can eat there. But all this extra stuff, no, we're not doing that. Why you don't cook for me? Because you didn't buy the groceries. <laughs> a woman, you give a woman a house, she makes it a home. Yeah. You give yes. She's gonna make you a meal. Yeah. You know, this and sometimes we give, 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 and then when you get to that point where you're just done and they don't understand well, you can't give from an empty cup because you can't give from an empty cup or you can't give from an empty cup when you, you're not reciprocating what you're yeah. and then like at a point you have go, to they like, realize like well, who you are and what you want and regardless if you're single for a while or many years just know what you want and stand still and who you are and mm -hmm. your principles and you know what i'm saying sooner or later they'll come along well i don't know the whole you know the whole I, i've been married twice so i i just feel like um just the whole thought of marriage right now i still believe in marriage i still believe in love i still believe in submitting um, to your your significant other, your spouse, you know, and that's again, that's on both sides. But it's like, let me give you know, these songs real quick. Go ahead. So, you know, <laughs> it's like I'm out of the realm of marriage right now. I was like, I, I'm not really. I was like, I know, I, I know, I'm gonna be married again. So do I be 100 percent who I am because I'm so used to being in a marriage. So it's kind of hard to step out of the wife role when you're when you're dating and in relation in just new relationship. It's like so hard to step out. It's automatic submission. It's automatic. Oh, I'll do that for you. Oh, I'll take care of that for you. Oh, I got it. You know, it's and it's 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 a difficult thing to try to pull out of that and remember, hey, you're by yourself. You don't owe that person anything. You don't have to give them anything. They're not your spouse. What are you doing? So like the, so I, I do think it's important um, in submission. Again, you can't, you can't give everything out the gate, especially if you're not getting anything in return. Like she said, you're not, you're not uh, equally yoked. If somebody's not showing you that they're going to take care of you and not just financially, like take care of your, yeah. heart. take care of your heart. So you submit to that person. This person's going to take care of my heart and they're going to make sure I'm taken care of it all. They're not going to hurt me. And like, like you said, like when we separate, you still taking care of my heart. You still take my care. Every, every little chick to walk by, chick, sh, do, sh, sh, I got this at home. Sh, 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 sh. So it's like, even in, in my presence and outside of my presence, you're still taking care of my heart. So yes, I'm going to submit to that. 
Um, mm -hmm. Because I know I can trust you, you know. So do we, do we come up with another term for submission? It's, it's so, okay. I, I still stick to my thing about the words because every in this thesaurus, we need to, it, we just need a whole word all together because they sound horrible. Resignation, capitulation, acquiescence, appeasement, assent, bowing, defeatism, deference, docility. Yeah, we need a new word. Somebody speed up this Dealing point. with, because I feel like in a relationship, you're only in a relationship with, with somebody you're going to deal with. You're dealing with someone's other issues, regardless of what it is. Yeah. There's always something in someone that you don't like. So a relationship to me pretty much is, Come am I able like to de deal with <laughs> these <laughs> issues that this that. person has? Yeah. 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 I'm just going to deal with it. We're going to deal with your mess. You're going to deal with mine. When, when you have enough. If y'all really equally mean. dealing with crap, you know what I'm saying? When y'all, we equally dealing with each other. Yeah, we equally. It's just little stuff you deal with. We ain't talking about no big stuff. All right, you gonna keep you gonna keep sleeping with Susan? Fine, I'm gonna deal with it. I'm but not. no, those those are like non-negotiables. <laughs> yes, but like little thing, like okay, you, you don't want to put down the toilet seat. <laughs> 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 it's, a leadership. it's a lead. It's leadership. You're a leader, a, an effective leader. I think at the end of the day, you have to be an effective leader. He has to be able to lead the household, but you have to be able to know your role within helping him lead because the high and help me help his. You have to help him. Mm -hmm. The men they <laughs> and behind every great man, there was a bad woman. <laughs> <laughs>